G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel and today I'm, I'm going to do a video on um, some gold ore that Jeff has kindly sent to me, Jeff from Tasmania in Australia and uh, yeah and Jeff sent me um, a box of some, some gold ore which I will process, anyway I'll just, I'll open the box up, I'll set this up so you can see what I'm doing just open the box and I'll show you what he sent. I've opened the box already but I haven't actually been through the material and he sent me material in separate bags. So this is panning cons, he's got written on there, panning cons. So what I'll end up doing, I'll put this through a sieve, I'll sieve it out and pan off the fine material and then I'll put the, the oversized material, I'll put that through a crusher. So that's one bag. There's another bag. Uh, it's got something written on there, I can't really read it. But this is different ore all together. So I may actually crush this separate, do it separately. Here's another one, he's kept it all separate. Bag number four. There's another one, another bag of all. So I'll do these separate, guys. Another separate bag. So what I'll do, I'll um, okay. I'll set up my panning station or. Um, some of this material is just going to go straight through the crusher. So what I'll do is I'll set up my sieve and that. I'll sieve it all out, classify it, and then I'll pan it out and see what we get. And then the oversize will run through the crusher and, uh, and just see what we get out of that. Okay, guys, I'll be back shortly. Yeah, so the oversize I'll run through the crusher. And, um, and then I'll add it with the fine material here in the pan and I'll pan it out and uh, obviously there's going to be gold in it I mean look at that, that's, that's a nugget that's a gold nugget there every day of the week guys ok I'll be back ok here's the oversize I'll put it through the crusher samples I'm going to put through the crusher and cut them down and put them back in the bag and then I'll pan them separately. Okay guys I've crushed all the material up and I've put it back in the bag so I've got it I've got the bags from one to five so I've got one oh, I've got six samples the first sample this one here was the panning cons. Jeff said panning cons. And all the rest of them are numbered one to five. So I've got six samples to pan out. So I'll set up my panning station. I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, sample number one. And, and this is that uh, material that, that Jeff put um, panning. Uh, panning material on the bag. So this is the panning material. That, uh, it's all been crushed up. And uh, this is the material that I got that nugget, I picked up that nugget out of. So I'm pretty confident there's, there's going to be some more gold in here. Make sure that's all mixed in well with the water. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and uh, Thank you very much, Jeff. Um, I appreciate this. I, I, I really, this is my forte: crushing or, gold, or crushing rocks, panning it out to see if there's any gold in it. And the best thing about this material is, I know there is gold in it. 
Oh, we saw the nugget that I picked out of it, so we know there's going to be gold in this material. I can see all the black sand there. Plenty of black sand. All the heavies. And this black sand I will keep. Add it with the rest of my black sand. And um, later down the track I'll smelt it. Okay. Pan number one, guys. Do we have gold? Look at all that black sand. I can see some gold. See a speck of gold right there. See? Yeah. I'm seeing gold. What I'll do is. I'll get rid of this material at the pan. I'll just do a rough pan back just to show you the gold. You can probably see the gold all now. All through that, all through that black sand, there's just mobs and mobs of gold. So a bit of grass. And some of this gold's going to come back with the black sand, it's alright, I'll clean it up better later. What's that thing there? Looks like a piece of wire. See all the gold guys? Check it out. Gold, yes sir. Okay, I'll clean this up, I'll snuffer it, and then I'll move on with the next bag. This is sample number one. So I did that that panning material sample, did that, and yes, I've got a nice tail of gold as you saw. And I've snuffled it all up in the bottle and I've kept all the black sand. Um, that's for a future project where I can smelt the black sand and recover the fine gold out of the black sand. So It'll be interesting to see what we get out of this one. Sample, sample number one. So, from my understanding, Jeff's taken all these samples from um, different areas around uh, around different mines. I think maybe off mullet piles and out of the shaft or the adit that he was um, checking out. So Jeff knows where all these samples come from, that's why I've kept them all separate. And I'll pan them out and we can see together if we get out any gold out of each of the samples. Some samples mightn't have any gold, whereas other samples might have some gold. And it'll tell Jeff where whereabouts to keep looking. Okay guys, let's have a sticky beak at this one. Do we have any gold in this pan? No, I can't see any gold. I'll have a look under my jeweler's loop, but I can't see any gold in there. I'll get back to the I'll get back to you with the next sample. Okay, this one's sample number two. And sample one, uh, sample number one, no, no gold in it. So Jeff, where that sample one came from, you can cross that off your list, mate. There was no gold, even under the jeweler's loop, I couldn't see any gold in the pan. Maybe if I looked under the microscope, there might be, but anyway, that what was left in the pan, I just put it into another pan with me black sand. So all the um, all the heavy materials out of each of these samples I'll keep. I'll put it into a separate container and then one day when I get enough of it, I'll smelt it down. So let's see if we've got anything out of this one, guys. Did we get any more gold out of this sample? OK, 
Okay. Let's have a look. Plenty of black sand there. I'll just clean the clean the bottom of this pan out. Get rid of all that blonde material. Okay. Okay. Black sand. If we got any gold, that's where it's gonna be. I can see some shiny specks. I'm seeing shiny specks, guys. Yeah, there is. There's gold in it. I can see it. You might be able to see it, but it's really fine, super fine up the back here. And I want to keep all that. That's going to go into me black sand collection. Yeah, so there's in this sample number two, Jeff. Yep, uh, fine gold in it, mate. Yeah. I'll get back to you with sample number three, guys. Okay, sample number three. Yeah, so that that sample number two that has some some uh, fine gold, but there was a, there was enough gold in it that I could see, uh, even without my jeweler's loop, I could see the gold at the back of the pan, just fine gold, but it's gold. So what I'll do, all that black sand I'm keeping, I'll dry that out at the end, and I'll. I'll just put it under the microscope and I'll just show you the fine gold that is in that material. And you never know, we might get some more gold out of this one. And that's why when I go up the hills prospecting, I'll bring back some um, some samples. I usually always bring back a few samples. And if they're rocks, I'll crush them up and pan them out. Exactly what I'm doing here. Just to see if, there, if there's any gold in the material. Okay, guys. Sample number three. Does it have any gold? This is a quartz too, quartzy material. And you can see, I'm starting to see the black sand now at the, back, at the back of the pan. Okay, I can't see any gold. But there is some shiny specks there. So what I'll do, I'll look under the jewel's loop. And then I'll get back to you with sample number four. Okay. Sample number four. Sample number three had uh, some very fine specks of gold. I could see under the jeweler's loop. Um, similar to the material that I'm finding in the hills where, where you, you can't see it that well with the naked eye, but under the jeweler's loop you can see the, the um, microscopic specks in the pan. Yeah. So that sample number three had, had gold in it, but very fine pieces. Sample number two was the better sample so far. It'll be interesting to see what's in this one. Because this was a different material as well. It was um it was a softer type rock, this one. This sample number four. Okay. Right yeah, let's see what we got in this one. Can we get a bit of gold to show you guys? Oh 
I can see some specks up the top of the pan here, very fine guys. I'll have to um, put those under the micro under the jewelers loop. But it looks to me like there's a few specks, fine specks of, of gold up here. Okay, I'll get back to this with the last sample, sample number five. Okay guys, sample number five and the last sample. And that sample number four, I counted about six microscopic specks of gold. So yeah, not much in that one. But there was gold in it, but like I said, I only counted about six specks under the jeweler's loop. So let's see if we can get something out of this last sample. Sample number five. And uh, I hope I hope this video helps you out, Jeff. I hope, hope it sheds a bit of light on um, on where you need to look. Obviously, sample number two so far is the best sample. Well, the um, the panning sample that you gave me is a, is a good one, but the the next sample is that sample number two. Okay. Go. Lucky last, lucky last sample, guys. Can we pull a big monster out of this one? A big piece of gold. Not seeing anything. I see some sparkly things up up the back of here, and there's black sand. Oh, I can see a piece of gold. Yeah, it's it's fine gold, really microscopic stuff. Yeah, that looks like gold. Okay, so that that's it. I'll get back to you at the wrap up, and um, and I'll put some photos up of the gold. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. That sample number five, the last sample I just did. Yes, there's gold in it, and um, and quite a. They're only small. Um, pieces, just microscopic pieces, but there's a lot of them in the little amount of black sand that was that was in that sample. Yeah, there's there's quite a few um, small, very fine pieces of gold in it. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you at the wrap up. Okay, guys, I've got the gold all cleaned up. Let's wait and see what we got. There is a, still a bit of black sand in there, guys, but. 0.44 so probably I don't know might be 0.35 if you take away that black sand yeah so 0 0.3 0 0.35 cool thank you very much Jeffrey well guys how cool was that thank you very much Jeff I appreciate it mate yeah thanks for sending me that all and um, I hope that you got something out of the results that, that I've got that I'll show you on this video. I hope you got something out of it and You can go back maybe to where where that um, Where you got that sample two Sample two. Yeah, that was the good stuff that looked pretty good. Some of the other samples had some fine gold in it um, Pretty similar to what I'm finding out in the hills here. Um, yeah, just that microscopic stuff But uh, yeah, that sample two is the stuff mate. That, I'd go back and get more of that for sure. Yeah, um, that's about it guys, that's all I've got to say, um, yeah, about 3.5, uh, sorry, 0.35 of a gram, uh, is, excuse me, is roughly what I got, yeah, out, out of that material, which is really good, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing to my channel, and giving the thumbs up, I appreciate you all. Cheers, it's a beautiful day here in Western Australia.
nice. I think I might sit out here for a little while and enjoy my beer. Okay guys, I hope you're doing the same where you are. Stay safe out there, take care, be good, and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully I'm out bush, I want to go back out and take some more samples. Okay guys, bye for now. Thanks Jeff.